months, haven't spoken a word to my ex or even heard a thing from him. It's insane to me that after being married for seven years, someone could just cut me off completely. Until since like nine months, having spoke to her, having called her, nothing. My lawyer say got in communication with her because she can use any that say in court against me. Do you miss Chantel? Like, yeah, it was a good love, you know, that's what, that was my, my, my first love, you know. He promises to me. He said he was always gonna be there, he was gonna love me forever, and he didn't do that. What's going on, people? We are back again with another Moving Mad video, and this one's all about the family Chantel. Pedro and Chantel are back again. And this time, the divorce is pretty much done and dusted. But that's something that we're going to get into further down this video. But for now, let's talk about what just happened here, what I've just shown you. Chantel complains and stresses about how he promised to love her. He promised to stay with her. He promised, promised to not leave her. But Pedro, on the other hand, he's like, listen... I fell in love with this woman, this is the woman of my life, but um, our agenda's chained. I had plans where I was working, working, working to build for our future, but with Chantel, she was working just to go on vacation, 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 and that's not something that he wanted. Which, you know, it's, it's fair, because that's a, that is a common problem in, in a lot of relationships, so I understand exactly where he's coming from, you know? But also at the same time, you know, they haven't spoken for nine months. Chantel thinks it's because he's just gone cold, which po could possibly easily be the, 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 the reason, but obviously Pedro's like, well, no, it's because, you know, my lawyer's told me not to say anything, which again is a very smart move. It's a very interesting one because I think a lot of people want to hear Pedro admit that, hey, I was only ever using you. Because I think when it comes to Pedro, even though when he speaks, he denies that and he says that he did love her and he wanted to be there for the right reasons. The only issue is, is that everything that he says is then contradicted by the actions of his mother and daughter because the way they behave, they kind of behave as if like Chantel was legit just a stepping stone for him to get to the States. <laughs> when you say one thing but then everything around you is contradicting kind of everything that you're saying it's definitely a sticky one if you know what i mean but i will say this though i feel like for chantel to believe that he was using her for a um a visa a green card i feel like for her that's just she's she can't understand how he left her so she needs to find a reason she needs to find an excuse you know anything and everything just to cling on to to why he left me and for her she's always gonna run with the narrative that he just used me She's never going to believe that he, maybe he did actually love her and that maybe he actually did want to be with her, given that that could be potentially true as well. But hey, man, how do you move on if you can't accept the actual true truth? But I understand that in this situation, it is hard to understand about the actual true truth because the things that have happened over the seasons, they've always given mixed reviews about whether he's with her for the green card or if he's with her for love. And I've got to say that probably most of it weighs into the favor of that he's with her for the green card. Yeah, but we continue. Association being really tough. The family Chantel believe that I know they anything. That's what's the first thing that Karen say about me, you know, that I know they said anything because they bring me here. Um, said it from day one, that Pedro and his family were out to get me, that he was using me for a green card and that he didn't love me, but I chose to trust my husband. All of the money because I didn't know what he was capable of. And I'm like, I need to take this money out before Pedro runs off to the Dominican Republic somewhere and hides it. And tried to get me the border. I know Chantel opened a case to immigration because I got some letters by the government a couple of times. She even talked with immigration and say, you know, the whole Mary was a scam. <laughs> why do you know what i'm gonna say this this guy fully believed that he had chantelle where he wanted her and when i say that what i mean is he knew that chantelle's mother was one hell of a challenge she was challenged as well, along with the family right but because chantelle stayed even regardless he never thought that chantelle would ever turn her back on him even though he turned his back on her or at least turned his back on their marriage and didn't want to make it work you know he gave up pretty much at the first huddle well that's a lie They've had a lot of hurdles, but he gave up at a certain hurdle that just didn't really make too much sense. For him, I guess it did, but for everyone else, maybe not. But point being is, um, <laughs> if the whole storyline, since you've known Chantel, has been that you're, you, you've been using her, you've been accused that multiple, multiple times. So, of course, the moment you leave her and then she takes that 265k, are you going to be surprised? No, you shouldn't be surprised because why wouldn't she? Because she's paranoid right now that you used her. So therefore, she's going to try and take away anything that you may walk away with and she may lose out on completely. So therefore, I understand why she did it. I'm not saying what she did was correct, but I understand it. But he, for some reason, is surprised by it. Because he thought that Chantel would never do that to him purely because she always picked him over her family. But guess what, buddy? While she was always picking you over her family, that was her reason. She was picking you because she thought you was always going to pick her over everything. And that's why when you decided to sprung the divorce and out of nowhere like that, it hurt like there's no tomorrow because she trusted you, she loved you, and she thought that, yes, you are a genuine guy. But for you to just to give up just like that, what did you expect? 
So of course, Chantel's now in Karen mode. And when I say Karen mode, I don't mean like the typical Karen persona. I'm talking about as in her own mother mode. You see what I'm saying? At least halfway there. But of course, we're in a position now where 60K had gone missing. And you're thinking, what's going on here? Chantel says the 60K were missing because she was paying bills, paying divorce, fee divorce fees and so on. For him now, he's convinced that that 60K went to the immigration lawyer purely because he was getting letters and stuff, which I understand. And this is the thing. I don't know how any of these things cost. So really and truly, we may never know where the 60K really went to. But it doesn't change this one simple thing that he should not be surprised. What is there to be surprised about? You know, from the very get go, it's been there. But you know what, though? This is why he's surprised. You see, Jerry thought that he had Chantel in his pocket. Now, I don't want to say that in terms of the fact that I'm saying that he had in his pocket in terms of he used it to get to the States, because I don't want to say that isn't necessarily true, but we don't know for sure, for sure, even though it feels like it. But what I'm saying is that he had in his pocket where he believed that no matter what wrongs he would ever do to her, she was never going to actually betray him the way she did. Because for him, he sees a betrayal. But at the same time, though, him leaving her, she also sees as a betrayer too. Because the difference between them two is that um, he reassured Chantel that he would never leave her. Chantel, on the other hand, she reassured him by her actions. That I will be with you as long as you will be with me. But guess what? You broke that. The second that you left that, you broke that bond. You broke that moment where she was always going to be on your side. And now you're getting Chantel, aka Karen, as in her mother, just to clarify that again. I don't know Karen's coming after me now. <laughs> but with that being said, we continue. Marry an American girl, come to the United States, do all of the things to make our relationship look legit, and then to leave me when the coast is clear. And it's easier to leave somebody without children. I feel like I do deserve more than 50-50, but I'm tired of this long drawn out process. I'm sitting here for a whole year trying to get through this divorce. I think that Pedro deserved nothing. He deserves to go back to his country, which he allegedly only left for love. For love. <laughs> wow, that scene will never get old to be fair. He allegedly left for love. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that's not how she did it, but that's just my own interpretation. Okay, that's how I saw it. All right, okay, allow me. But um, she's got a point. She's got a very, very good point. You know, he left DR to come to the states because of love, right? And um, the saddest thing about it is that throughout the whole process, has he ever done enough to prove that he left for love? Did he ever really do truly enough? And also on top of that, even the moments maybe he did show he did enough. What did his family do? His family always contradicted any efforts he made to make it seem as if it was enough, you know, and that was always going to be a problem, always going to be a problem. And it's not like he's in a position now where he's looking to go back to 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 deal. No, he's staying in America. He's going to continue building in America until whenever. Right. So it does feel more and more that, yes, 100 percent. He was with her just to go to the States. You know, it's crazy because he says that he left her because of differences because he wanted to work for a future but she wanted to work for a vacation but the crazy thing about it is that in the last season we didn't see him try and have a conversation with Chantel about that all he did was to complain about how Chantel wasn't doing her responsibilities um you know at home in terms of keeping the house clean and all that kind of stuff that is what he was projecting that was the issue he never projected that the issue was that we have now changed that we are now in a different space he never did that and because he never did that and he was looking and he used something else as a reason, that's what makes it feel even more that yes, he did use her and he was never with it for the right connect for the right reasons. But again, I go back to what I said before. I just feel like Pedro really underestimated Chantel. I generally feel like he, he took her kindness for weakness. He generally felt like he was going to get away with leaving her and it was going to be stress free. And he was also going to get away with mistreating her and he was going to be stress free. And he just didn't see this coming. And that's what's hurting the most. I promise you now, in my opinion, what's hurting the most is that he underestimated how she was going to fight back. And that's something that people should never do. If you love someone, you want to be with them, then there's no reason to underestimate them or anything like that. You have every reason to just trust within, within them without a shadow of a doubt. That's that, you know? That is that. <laughs> but like I said before, the signs were always there. The signs were always there for both sides. If there were signs were there that Chantel would fight back, but the signs were also there that Pedro may just be using her. <laughs> This season's gonna be very, very interesting. Do not settle, take him to court. You should have taken that scammer to court because you should have gotten alimony and the house. How dare he come in and tell you, I'm going to divorce and I want the house. I'm sorry, did you hear something? 
Pedro mentions picking up his gaming chair. It's his favorite gaming chair. But according to the terms in the divorce, everything inside the house, all of the furnishings, belong to me. Ah, nothing good than a little bit of comedy. But yeah, Karen's speaking the truth, but <laughs> the impression was just golden. I just had to show the impression. But also at the same time, even uh, Chantel mocking Pedro about the chair. Honestly, you know, you, you know, sometimes you're like, wow, talk about just petty, man. Just let the man have his gaming chair. But anyway, I just wanted to show that just for the comedy aspect of it. I just found that hella funny. But nonetheless, though, you guys let me know what you're thinking down below and we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace. Oh.